Welcome back. We're chatting with uh, Vivi Allen, and uh, she's here to talk about the Ozark Arts Council, the Lyric, Hi. and everything Hi. that's going on down on the square. Hello. You know, the Lyric's such a great place. You know, every, every time I go down there, that's the thumb of the whole place. We that think thing sticks so. up more we than anything so. else. Yeah, it's it the, does. It's the draw. Oh, no. Well, it's a beautiful old building, and yeah. we're very happy to have it, and... I think next week they're going to take part of the neon off and yeah. we're going to so start gonna on the start sign. That. Yes. And I guess um, then we'll start painting the sign and working on the front of the building. We did get the historic preservation grant and we are absolutely thrilled. How to hard have are those that. grants to write and, and to get? I did that one. Yeah. So it must not be too hard. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, there's certain that stipulations. Was, there are reviewed. certain stipulations. Yeah, and you have to follow everything to the letter, don't you? Yes, you do. And or they ever, don't give them. Have you ever been refused one? Yes. Or, yeah, that's year before yeah. we were. And um, that's heartbreaking. And some of that has to do with how much they have to give as well. As exactly. It is not the grant nor how it's prepared. Mm -hmm. It is what they have. And historic preservation comes from real estate taxes and we all know with the economy oh, the way yeah, they yeah, get yeah. that's how they get their funding in mm -hmm. our particular state mm -hmm. and area mm -hmm. and we all know with the economics lately property has not been selling right, like right. it did so there was not as much money to give right mm -hmm. so we went in for a smaller amount this year and got it and we're going to try to incrementally do some well, things. Well, and, and let our viewers know what what you're doing with that mon that grant money. Well, it's a two it's on. a two to one match, and we you know if anyone would like to contribute, we lack a few hundred dollars. We do have thirty five hundred dollars pledged to toward the ten thousand that we got. Mm -hmm. You know, and I mean we have that so other need, money available. We need to make that five to make it. Um, yes, right. and and we would like to get that. We do have the five set aside. But, you know, if right. anybody that loves the building, like we all do, mm -hmm. would like to give something toward mm -hmm. that, they may. And that's going to fix the neon sign out front. And repaint it. Okay. That's going to repaint the front of the building and fix all of those third-level windows right. that are leaky gear and... Mm -hmm. You know, and, that, and it just kind of snowballs because when you have the leaky air, then you have the uh, electric bill that is outrageous to start with probably, mm -hmm. but then when you have... It, just, uh, it is. Yeah. So, But Need we help. feel, and, we, and, we're really thrilled. And we know all about the electric bills this year. Yes, don't we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, and it's, it's been a great boon. We've been um, very religious in turning down the thermostats after performances mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. asking the directors to make sure when they leave. Yep. And it has helped quite a bit. Yeah. Good. On and you know, I know that makes it, you know, for tryouts and cast a little uncomfortable when you first get mm -hmm, there mm -hmm. or it did in the summer. Mm -hmm. But it has certainly paid off and we appreciate everybody's cooperation. Sure. Right. And people don't realize that it's uh, you know, if you go into a ret retail outlet, you go in and you see what's going on and you come out in the lyric there's things going on all the time. I mean, yes. I was amazed at how, how, how much that building is used. It really is. And by is. different groups of people. It is. Um, the theater company, of course, uses it. And then also uh, Michael Mahoney from the college. And mm -hmm. they have... They're an integral part of what the Lyric does. They are very integral mm -hmm. in what the Lyric does. And uh, the college and he and his predecessor have always supported us. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And, and he's theater. got a production coming up, too. Yeah. Okay. We'll let you talk, go through the productions here yeah. in a minute, but also um, you have independent acts that come in as well. We do. We do. And we have um, had several of those. We have some of those coming up, which I'll go through as okay. well. And we've also go, gone back, which you all are aware of, to our old voucher system. Mm -hmm. and Love the vouchers. Thing, yeah. The public And for people that don't know, it. I think we, we went to a, a ticket situation where you where right, you had you so many tickets. tickets per year when you bought a, a certain level of membership and now it's there you have one card and it's punched out every time is that yes, right yes and you get a ticket for that when you bring your card to right. the window but it's all in one thing you don't forget it mm -hmm. you don't lose it in your purse right. you don't stick it over mm -hmm. your visor in the wrong mm -hmm. vehicle mm -hmm. or something you know right and, and if you've uh, been uh, a member of the OAC in the past and and are not a member now the, the, the membership levels have, have reflected 
the economy. I mean, we've, yes. we've dropped some of those back down to some of the more popular uh, entry level uh, yes, memberships. Yeah, we have, and they get a voucher as well. Yeah, you know, and and that's good. So your money mm -hmm. is really you're actually if you if you frequent the the lyric any money that you pay in a in a ticket if you bought a membership you're getting all that back anyway. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, and we've had a wonderful um, group of you know, new members mm -hmm. and our old members have renewed and And you're still looking for people to renew their memberships and certainly and we and still have some seats on. available for people to um, you know, in memor as memorials. Right. We still have a few seats left. And but also the I was gonna talk about the the bricks outside of the lyric too. Yes, we still. are fixing to re do, re up that program again. We're gonna say stay at the same price point levels mm -hmm. and we do have those in the office and um, we're gonna I met with the city and they're gonna let us you know come out mm -hmm. further in the street and then go down in front of our building more. Yeah. yeah. And, so take, take advantage of that opportunity right. as well. All right, That's tell us forever. Yeah. Yeah. That is That's forever. You're awesome. there in yeah. Oh my. Engraved in They better stone. not put our names there. Oh my. So um, tell us about what's coming up. Oh my. Well I had to bring a sheet. Can you okay. tell? Um, we have the Glass Menagerie, October 21st and 22nd. That's a theater company production. At 7.30. And, or, or combo, is that? Is no, it's actually a theater okay. company. It's directed okay. by Ann Graffy. Um, and I, I skipped myself a little. On the 16th at 2 p.m., we have a group out of Fayetteville called the Jeff and Vita Band. And that's going to be awesome. They're, you know, it's in conjunction with things that are going on downtown mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um what top what top of um bluegrass kind of okay. hometown okay good sound kind mm -hmm. of it's kind of a combination and have y'all noticed that people are combining like the wonderful concert we had the other night uh classical and, and new, new age, age. New age right. and it was yeah. wonderful yeah. Yeah. and it the artists seem to be doing that right. combining what they like with what the public yeah. right. seems to yeah. like Anyway, um, on October 29th, we have the Masquerade Ball. Yeah. Which is the big fundraiser. fundraiser. We have some fabulous artwork that's been donated uh, that will be for sale. We also have some fabulous door prizes for people that come in costume. And we have um, singles and couples and, you know, round trip tickets to mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. places, airline tickets, right. hotel rooms. Cost is twenty five dollars per person. Mm -hmm. Now, typically, this is done. The fundraiser. I'm sorry. Typically, okay. the yearly fundraiser is done around April, but it, it was decided to incorporate that, I guess, into the Halloween atmosphere. Yes, and, and we had masquerade. so much luck with that last year. Mm -hmm. We decided to just change it up. Right. Now you're calling it a masquerade ball, but there, you don't have to wear a mask. Is that? Right? That's it's correct. More of a costume. But it's you more like, of a but costume. Like, but you like the word masquerade, so it's kind of kind of fits. Yeah. It's kind of fun. <laughs> no, is there, exactly. Is, yes. Is there still uh, room for people to to, um, to be a part available. of that? Yeah, tickets available. Oh, yeah. Open? That's okay. not. And it's going to be. That's open ended. Where is it? Yeah, where's it going to be? Oaks. <laughs> okay. At 7 p.m. until. Okay. Okay. And until have, there's no more time left. Until there's no more time left. <laughs> uh, we will have music and food mm -hmm. and a chance to bid on the artwork and all kinds of things. Good fun for everyone. Yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, right after that, well, on November 12th at 7 p.m., we have Delta Rain. They're returning again. again. Uh -huh. Yes. And many of you all know George Mason, local mm -hmm. man, Bluegrass. They were wonderful. And we had numerous requests for them to come back. Well, good deal. Okay. So they will be there. Give the people what they want. And November 17th, 18th, and 19th is of Mice and Men, which is the college. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mahoney. Mm -hmm. Ought to be incredible. Mr. Mahoney. Mr. Mahoney. No. Oh, I'm not bound to Michael Mahoney, but, you know. Yeah. He does a fabulous does. job, and we're glad he's, to. He's, he's great. Yeah. I like him. Um, they have a great cast. I'm not sure exactly who all's in it. Um, Maybe just, he'll come on sometime. Yeah. And, tell and us about it. I'll jump on up to December 2nd. We have Tim Ertz's program. At 7 p.m. in the lyric. And that's always a good. free program. That is a free program. And he does his latest photography, whatever mm -hmm. that may mm -hmm. be. And he mm -hmm. has not given me the title yet this year. Okay. 
but neat. Yeah, I well, while we're visiting it. too, I, I mean, sometimes there's a. Are you? Uh, let no, me let you you're finish. fine. Well, okay. there's one event that she forgot. It's What's on that? the 25th of October. I oh. did, but I was leaving that for you <laughs> no. since you're the. No, you know all about it. I do. Okay. All right. <laughs> on the 25th of October, in the Lyric, we will have a telethon. And we're really excited about that. We will have live entertainment, food. We invite the public to come down. Free of charge. Free of charge. Free food. Mm -hmm. Free popcorn. Free whatever, you know. So this is an opportunity to give money, but you don't have to pay to get into this particular and event it, it and enjoy is, the whole thing. Do they have exactly. to pay to get out? Oh, that, that's an go. idea. Oh, there we go. Welcome in. There we go. <laughs> um, and it's a dollar, five dollars, whatever, whatever you give. They can give. Yeah, yeah. This is a fun. This is a fundraising event, and, and we wanted to do it. Sometimes we we do uh, things for the for the uh, community, and we've done telethons before, and we've done twenty four hour telethons. Right. Uh, but uh, and we don't do them all that often. But when we do one, we we do one for an entity that we feel is in great need, mm -hmm. and and uh, we uh, dearly love the the lyric and the Ozark Arts Council, and 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 want to want to donate every penny that we, we do in the production and the manpower to, well, to that event. The success of the Ozark Arts Council is directly affected by the patrons and the supporters and, and that's how they are funded. I mean that's and, how and they those operate. of us that love it. I right. mean we are yeah. We're we're at the mercy of the community. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So and, take this opportunity to help support And if you you know can't do a membership, don't feel that you can do something yearly $5, yeah, right. sure. a dollar, yeah. or just come and enjoy the entertainment Absolutely. Yeah. and become passionate about it, and I'm going to speak for you all too, like we all are. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and lots of times you give your time. Yeah. Now, before we go, I want to, I want you to, I know that on Wednesday, there's always sometimes uh, people try to get a hold of someone there, and so I know Wednesdays are a good day because the office is staffed, and, and it's kind of, you're here, then <coughs> yawn, so it, it's exactly. not always someone and, available. And I might be there, but if I'm in the annex, I can't hear the right. phone. So I just want, you know, our viewers to be able to know that from 9 to noon and 1 to 4 on Wednesdays, Mary Bishop is in the office. Okay. And Mary has been at the Lyric and around the Lyric right. and involved for many years and is a wonderful asset, board member, theater company. Um, and then also on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 12 until 2, okay. Jeff Christensen's there. And then you can call the old number. I mean, yes, we're back to our old 3 -9 -1 -3 -5 -0 -4 number. 391-3504 and leave a message and someone will call get you back, back. With you. Mm -hmm. www. Okay. Dot OzarkArtsCouncil.org. Okay. Anything Focus? else? I don't Anything else? think so. <laughs> okay. We're we have glad. lots going on. We're Watch glad to the see marquee. You again. Yeah, thanks for coming by. I, thanks I, for. I hope uh, our viewers out there will uh, be kind to us and and keep the lyric going. I, I, it's it's going to be there. I just I just think that we should we should give back to the lyric it, because it, it's given so much to us. It would be nice to have a little in reserve. You bet. You know, you never know when the air conditioner is really right. going to break. Yeah. Yeah, and, or and I want to talk about the volunteers for a second. I mean, you you probably got ninety nine percent volunteers down there. Yes, that do everything. I mean, the, the people that put on the plays, the people that do the set construction. I mean, the people in the office they're they're not paid. Exactly. So I mean, uh, I mean, if it wasn't for the volunteers, I mean, this is a true hardcore group of people that really are passionate about Very what's true. going on they in the community. They have a heart and, for the arts, and, and so we they... would love to have more volunteers. And you know, if you only have an hour, that's fine. Mm -hmm. That any time is, you know, you can help during an event, you can help in the office. Okay. Well, what you need is is a person like this to, to, to make you infectious on things. I mean, she got me involved in what was going on, and I, I'm, a, mm -hmm. I'm a huge proponent of what, what the Ozarks are. I'm a Arts disease. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> no, disease. It's an incurable disease. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But it's, it's people like uh, Ann that, that make that organization, and you. Well, thank Make it you. a great thing, and we and we're looking for new people like that to be you a bet. part of the Ozark Arts Council, and and uh, we hope that you'll come down at least uh, during the telethon, and and we're going to have our video cameras down there, and it'll be live televised for those three hours, seven to ten p.m. We hope to get you on camera and come down. We want we want the seats filled and have a good you bet, time. Sure. All right. Great time for everyone. Sounds great. Thanks, thank Vivi. You. Thank you. All right. I think uh, we're going to. 
just uh, go ahead and close the show out. Thanks so much for all the guests that have been on the show. Ryan Oswalt with Forest Heights Elementary and the teachers that he brought with him. Mm -hmm. Dottie Rubio with the Harrison Roundup Club. B.V. Allen with the Ozark Arts Council and Michelle Pearson with Outrageously Good Life Seminar. Mm -hmm. And always a pleasure, Dan. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll see you next week. <laughs>